Alright, so, um, I... I'm adding another tick in the box of why the intolerant left, the progressive left, the social justice types, hiss me off. And that is that now, today, I have had to, I am now having to sit down and do a video on a subject that I really never, never saw myself, never wanted to see myself making. And that is a full defense of Lacey Green. You've got to be shitting me. Motherfuckers. Now, recently, as most of, uh, I'm sure most of you have, are aware, Lacey Green has committed absolute heresy towards the feminists and SJW communities by expressing a willingness to hear out someone else's opinion. To step outside of an echo of their echo chamber for just a minute and hear what someone else has to say. I know, it's fucking disgusting, right? She should be burned at the stake. Well, at least according to these some of these people. I mean, Jesus Christ, like I, I don't you know I don't even really like Lacey Green that much. I mean I don't have anything particularly against her as a person. I just I'm just not a huge fan of her videos, of her style, like you know, we're kind of opposed in that area significantly. She's all like, you know, safe space and kind, nurturing, uh, uh, knowledge and imparting wisdom. And I'm a little more, yeah, different schools of thought, you know? But this is bullshit. Like, to, to attack, the, the kind of attacks that have been, that have headed her way over the past few weeks, it's just like, I don't want to just chill the fuck out. She's not joining the KKK, okay? She's, like, listening to someone who has... She's, like, you know, having a debate with someone who has a, a differing opinion. That's how that's how a democracy works. You cunts. And one example, the reason I'm bringing this up now is because I came across a particular, particularly hacky article, if you can call it that, which I honestly am still not entirely sure isn't, like, a, an elaborate troll, because honestly, this person's, this person also has authored an article called, entitled, How Our Society Harms Trans People Who Are Also Autistic. It's like, two people? It harms both of them? Are you sure? But anyway, I'll, I'll look at that later. What I wanted to go into here, and since, you know, YouTube's attention span is, like, minuscule, I'm just going to read a, a, a blurb or two out of this article. I, I kind of sort of, I mean, if you really want to have a good cringe fest, go read the article. It's wonderfully cited with many examples that absolutely contradict the statements that it, uh, that it makes. But anyway, the, the real meat here, this, this is an article entitled The Strange, Sad Case of Lacey Green, Feminist Hero Turned Anti-Feminist Defender. What a traitor. I didn't add that last part, the traitor pit. I added that for comedic effect. In late May, seemingly out of the blue, Green dramatically shifted her tone on harassment. When once she supported the abused, she suddenly began questioning why there's more than two genders? No, she questioned if there are more than two genders, and, uh, there aren't. Dos. Genderos. Or genderas, whatever. Uh, and arguing that both sides of the argument are valid for everything from racism to transphobia to misogyny. Really? Now, see, this is one of those things where I was saying about how this article, quote-unquote, is full of citations or uh, links that directly contradict the article itself. As if the person writing it didn't actually watch any of them. Or had, like, selective hearing. 
I was like, I don't know. But anyway, uh, in particular, that statement where, where Lacey evidently is saying that, that both sides of the argument on, on racism and transphobia and misogyny are, are valid. That video, ironically, is mostly about the absolute shitstorm that has been kicked up uh, concerning this whole situation where she just wants to talk with other people and hear other view points of view on subjects. Uh, it in no way mentions racism, transphobia, or misogyny at all, with the exception of, I forget what it was, like, three, like, militant feminists that threatened physical harm on her in a parking lot or something like that for, for, uh, what was it? What was it that, that, um, oh, yeah, for using the wrong pronouns. Shit you not. Uh, but yeah, and that is it. Now, in a series of videos, Green revealed that her shift was a result of red pilling, the term for a twisted Marx, uh, sorry, Marxist, Matrix inspired uh, recruitment process coined by men's rights activists, pickup artists, and the alt right. The process involves a recruiter who attempts to position uh, white supremacists as opposed truth tellers while spinning phony racial and gender science as hate speech that's being trampled on by feminists in the political left. Yeah. White supremacists. Like this guy. Seriously? And that's something, too, that like the article kind of goes into that, kind of disses on Blair White a bit, which... Seriously. Um, and just... Take keeps on taking things out of context, um, which is interesting because again the video that's linked to to explain the, the sort of the, the focal point of this article is a Lacey Green video where she specifically mentions things about you know how as comments or as statements sort of filter through social media they end up losing more and more context, but. And this is the thing, this is why, like, when I started doing YouTube videos a few months ago, honestly, I was pretty much, I mean, I listed myself as progressive. In fact, I'm pretty sure at the time of filming this, my bio or about thing on my channel still says that I'm uh, progressive, which I need to change that. And, like, the, the deeper I dig into this, the more I see that, like, like there really is a regressive left. And they, these are the people, like, like this is, they're operating, they operate in a manner that is contrary to, to democracy. To the way our country and Western civilization in general is supposed to work. That it's like, like, you know, they're all for you, they're all tolerant, and they hold tolerance above all else, unless you dare disagree with any of them. On, on, on anything. Or even, in this case, at this point, Lacey Green has not actually... Uh, unless she just recently posted a video while I'm filming this or something, uh, has not said anything about having opposing views. The only thing she's mentioned is that she's willing to talk to people, to actually hear the words spoken by people who do have opposing views. And that is enough for her to basically be ostracized or ridiculed, shunned, cast out of this community. This, I mean, seriously, it's like, I don't even call it necessarily a community, it's like a fucking snake pit. Once you, you, once you do anything that they consider to be, you know, that could be considered wrong thing, they will just like cast you out. And you're dead to them. Like, fucking Steve Shives even did a thing where he's just like, oh, I don't know, like, you know, criticizing and, and, and being an ass about the whole thing. Her actual standard appears to be, well, if I Skyped with them and they were nice to me, then I guess they're cool. It's fucking bullshit. It's disgusting and disappointing and she should be fucking ashamed of herself. That's what I think of it. When, and this is just when someone wants to talk and actually have a discussion. And like... That is not, that's not democracy. That's not how Western culture works. You know, that's authoritarian. 
That's a, an authoritarian mindset. That's how North Korea works. That's why we had that whole situation with, with that guy that, that was like, like given sentence like 15 years hard labor for stealing some decorative bunting. It was because in, in systems like that, you crush dissent with an iron fist. Because if you don't, people start to talk, people start to, to push a little more, they start thinking a little more outside the box, and then they realize, holy shit, I live in a shitty, oppressive, authoritarian regime. And the enemy is actually, quote-unquote enemy, is not in fact literally Hitler. And maybe they're worth listening to on some issues. Maybe my side's right. Is Maybe my side is wrong on some things. And they can't have that. Because if they do, their shit eventually just implodes. And I feel that's what's happening here. It's like this, this dislike, this hatred, this disgust with anyone who, who even talks to people of, of opposing views. Even talks to them. Like, how, what, why? What, what good, uh, reasonable uh, defense do you have of that position where it is, you know, it will harm you or it is not worth even speaking to someone with an imposing viewpoint? Like, that's how you get people over to your side is... You convince them. You have our, an, you have you make a good spirited argument that is backed up by facts, and as convincing, and people start to see, oh yeah, you're right, you are right. I I did not know that before. Now I understand. That's how you win people over your cause, as opposed to just setting up a fucking echo chamber. And that's, I think, my biggest pro has become my biggest problem with the, uh, I mean, let's just say it, the regressive left. They operate like a, 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 you know, authoritarian regime that is contrary to everything I believe as an American. As someone who believes in freedom of speech and freedom of ideas, you know, the free flow of ideas, that is contrary to that. And it's something I feel that, that needs to stop. Like, if any progress is going to be made to either, on either side, you do need to actually discuss, have discussions with people that have opposing viewpoints. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all I got for, for that. Um, like, comment, especially comment. I really want to hear people's opinions on this. Uh, get some back and forth going, uh, and and just get your views, um, you know. So I'm not just shouting into the internet hole here. So uh, also, if you're new, click subscribe. Right now, click it. Good, and I'll see you next time.